Hey guys, it's Sydney 2.0, and so today we are going to make stress balls. Stress balls, stress balls. They're nice and squishy. So I'm going to tell you how to make three different types of stress balls. So if you want a really gushy one, a really, really, really gushy one. You would have this type. So, if you, this is a color changer. See that? It's white. No, it's like a darkish purple, blue. So, you make this by, it's like, this is so easy. All you need is a balloon. Well, like a white balloon, if you want a color change, if you don't then you could skip one of the steps well two steps so if you want to have a really cool see-through one then you'll take a white balloon fill it up with well fill a little bit just a tiny bit up with coloring like you can try like if you have Mio or one of those drink things if you want to have like one of those that are drink Yeah. If you want to have one of those that are a drink, you can either use food coloring or one of those Mio things. And then you just like put a little bit of food coloring in there. It might be a little hard to get it in. And then you'll put some a little bit of water in it and mix it up. And then you'll like like pull it down and then tie it and then cut off the excess. They look like little bags. Like, like that one looks like a money bag and stuff. If you want a little bit gushy one, but a little bit more um, solid, you'll have this one. If you want it to be another color changer, here's glitter in this one. So, you'll take a white balloon, fill it up with either clear, well, if you don't want to have the whole thing. So, if you want it to be a color changer one... Well, then you'll use a white balloon. But if you want to use a different color balloon, like pink or orange or green or blue or yellow, you can. So, you can put clear glue and then glitter in it if you want to do the extra steps. Or, if you go out of your way and get glitter glue, then it'll make the steps even more easy. So, you just put the glitter glue in there, or the glue and the glitter, and then you do the same steps you did for this one. You pull, like, you pull the strands until you get it close, like, kind of tight, but not too tight that it'll blow, like, it'll explode. And then you tie it again, and then, and then you cut off the ox excess. There you go. And then here's there's your other color changing one. This one doesn't color change as much. I'd say this one's darker. This one isn't. See the difference? Unless you get this one really close, like too close. Well, like not too close, but like you get it really close and then you can actually see. Like if you squeeze it like right here, you can see more of it. And then you tie it like that, but that would be like really close and then if you want to have like a harder one just not as hard like not hard hard but still like kind of like nice and stuff you'll use a baking soda or you can use cornstarch I don't know about sugar and salt maybe flour I don't know about flour but you'll use that and this one is not a color changing one because it's just baking soda it's already white and stuff Maybe if I added food color, I'm not sure. I haven't tried that yet. So, you just try that. You copy the steps where you get it really close. And then tie it, cut off the excess. So, that's how you make... Oops! Stress balls! Yay! Yay! Thank you for watching! Bye!